Hi, this is Dr. Matthew Loop. Welcome to this training video. I'd like to share with you how to upload your recently created video to YouTube. It's a very simple process. All you need to do is click this link that says sign in and it will redirect you to a Google page where if you don't have a YouTube account, all you need to do is create a YouTube account by clicking this red button. If you do have a YouTube account, just sign in with your credentials here but I'm going to assume that you don't have a YouTube account, so let's click this Create an Account link. That will redirect you to another page where you can create your Google account and your YouTube account. So just enter your details, first name, last name, email address, password, birth date, mobile phone, and of course a CAPTCHA code. Click that you agree to their terms of service and then click Next Step, and that will register you for a YouTube account. You're going to receive an email from them basically stating that you have signed up for YouTube and Google, you'll have to click the link that they send you within that email, so make sure you check your junk folder and your spam so it's not filtered there. Once you open the email that they send you and you click the link inside to verify, then you can go back to this screen and log in with your email and password to YouTube. From there, it's going to take you to a similar interface like what you see here. Mine is obviously completed. We've added all of our details to this particular profile, plus a nice header banner up here Yours might not have that, especially if you're new, obviously, so make sure you fill in those details. Uploading a video is very simple, though. All you'll need to do is click this Upload box right here. Once clicked, that will take you to a screen like this. Now, you can choose if you want this video to be public, unlisted, private, or scheduled. Uh, most of my videos are public, so we have that checked here. Once I click this link, that's going to redirect me to some files on my computer. I'm just going to use this video as an example. This is what brands can learn from Prada. So I upload this video and it gives me a space for the title, the description, the tags, and of course my privacy settings. I have the ability to post to my subscribers on other social media. You might not have these options, especially if this is a new account. So what you'll want to do, to do is you'll want to create your title, whatever the title of your video is. You'll put the description box in here and yes, you can add website addresses if you include the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash it makes the website address clickable and usually within my videos we will add just a teaser something to evoke curiosity in this viewer because we want them to watch the video so you might give some curious uh, facts or just details that make people want to watch the video the tags the keyword tags as some reference them are they, they should be synonymous with your title and you should have the same words somewhere in the description box so if you've created a video about basket weaving you might have basket weaving somewhere in the title, you might have it somewhere in the description, and of course you would have it in the tags. All that means is that Google slash YouTube will index your video accordingly to the topic of your, um, of your choosing. And in this example, basket weaving was the example. Now you might also see this down here. If you're new to YouTube, you won't. This is a custom thumbnail, so once this video populates and uploads, they're going to give us what are called thumbnail images. These are just images that we can select to present on YouTube. And um, when you search your video on Google, what will happen is you will see this box with the thumbnail image. So they do give you three to select from. If you are a partner like I am, then you will have this custom thumbnail tab, which you can create your own uh, graphic design image. Make sure to also select your category if it's people and blogs, automotive, gaming, how-to style select the appropriate category. Up here you can see a little navigation bar. You will have this advanced settings tab if you're new. You won't have this monetization tab because you have to be a partner first. So we'll click the advanced settings. You can choose to allow comments or to have them approved. Uh, users can vote on comments. You can choose your video location, allow video responses um, if they have to be approved, license and ownership, caption certification. Usually I will select this content has never aired on television in the US and you can allow embedding or notifying of subscribers etc. So that's basically it in terms of uploading a video to YouTube. Now once this upload is completed you can find this video in your video manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out this upload because I've already uploaded this video to YouTube. I'm going to take you now to the video manager so I click this little link where my icon is and we'll just go to video manager and now it will have all my videos listed back here in the back office and I have 
uh, hundreds of videos or almost 200 videos on this channel, a couple other channels on YouTube as well. So it's totally up to you on how you format them, but this is a very easy, streamlined, um, and effective way that you can manage your videos. All right, as you can see, this is a fairly easy process. Hopefully you found some value out of this video. If you did, please click the like button that you see below on this training. And if this is your first time to YouTube, if you're just looking to have fun, that is awesome. Upload videos, you're going to have a blast. Now, if you're a business owner looking to grow your business with social media and the internet, you are in the right place. I'd like to invite you to visit dcincome.com forward slash blog. On my blog, I have hundreds of free trainings that will help you grow a profitable business without spending any money on advertising. You can look through these trainings. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see the categories link to the right-hand side. Make sure you take your time, and if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment on this video and or blog. This is Dr. Matthew Loop. Hopefully you found it valuable. I'll talk to you soon.